been restored. I, I guess he's just doing them one at a time. Oh, Vicky, look at this bed. I'd love to lie down on it, but I wouldn't dare. It's so strange to see a room like this in, in the midst of such dust and decay. There's been so much work put into this room, even more than downstairs. <gasps> Carolyn! Portrait of Josette. I wonder why it's hanging in here. Oh, David's going to be thrilled when he hears about this. Actually, it, it seems to fit better in this room than downstairs. More like it's a part of the room. Vicky, look at this. What is it? Look at this hairbrush. Oh, it's in perfect condition. And the comb, and the mirror. Everything a woman of that century could want. Everything's so perfect. Down to the smallest detail. Even the perfume container has liquid in it. I, I recognize this perfume. It's jasmine. Vicky, what is it? It's probably just the wind. doing in here just looking you shouldn't be in here mr. Collins said that we could come here whenever we wanted to oh, he didn't mean for you to be in here well, you've done a beautiful job Willie yes Willie we're we're very impressed by your talent of being able to to restore and refinish things you haven't touched anything in here have you N not really well, nothing's supposed to be touched in this room everything has to be just now these have been touched Willie we were just admiring them. You, you've done a, a wonderful job in fixing up this house. I'm, I'm sure that Mr. Collins must be very pleased. I see that you've rehung the portrait of Joseph. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, we hung the portrait. What will this room be used for? Be used for? Well, I don't know. It's just, just a room to be looked at, I suppose. Won't anybody be staying in it? No, no, no one will stay in it. Oh, it's such a shame for a room like this to be idle. Any woman would love to live in it. No one's going to stay in it. Which room is Mr. Collins's? This seems to be the only one in any condition to live in. It's being fixed. Well, which one is it? You better get going now. It's getting dark. Willie, there are far more polite ways of asking a person to leave. Oh, I haven't got time to be polite, and neither do you. What do you mean? I mean it's going to get dark soon, and you should be home. Now, you better get out of here now, right away. All right. Mr. Collins, will you tell him how impressed we are with the progress he's made? You can tell him yourself. Oh, Mr. Collins, we came by to see you. 
Miss Winters, Miss Stoddard, what a pleasure to see you. Hello, Barnabas. We came to see how the restoration was coming along. And I must say, I'm absolutely amazed at what you've done here. Well, I'm so happy you like it. Oh, I love it. You see, it's a reaction like that that makes me feel it's all been worth it. That room upstairs, it's just exquisite. Oh, then you've seen the room. I've never seen such a feminine room in my whole life. Yes, it's brimming with femininity. Well, I'm delighted you describe it that way. You restored it so accurately, haven't you? It's precisely the way it was originally. How extraordinary. Down to the most meticulous detail. I was wondering, whose room was it? That room belonged to Josette Collins. I knew that was Josette's room. Oh, how did you know that? By the perfume, Jasmine. Yes, it was her favorite. It merely enhanced a very feminine woman. That room is so complete, it, it's almost as though she's living there. Yes, I dare say she very well could. Uh, they, they better get going out. It's getting pretty dark out. Uh, Mother doesn't want us to be out after dark because of what's happened around town. Oh, yes. I meant to ask you, is there any word of Miss Evans? No. And they have no idea where she could be? None at all. But they're still continuing the search. Oh, I do hope they find her soon. She's such a nice girl. Well, I'm sorry I wasn't here to give you a guided tour. Perhaps next time. Yes, there should be more to see next time. Well, I expect we should go now. Will you be all right going home? Oh, yes, I'm sure we will be. Oh, Mr. Collins, there is one thing I'd like to ask you. Oh, what is it? That story that you told us the other night. The one about the young woman who committed suicide on Widow's Hill. Oh, yes. Who was she? Josette Collins. Josette? Then that's the true story of Josette's death. As accurately as it was recorded. It was a terrible story. You made it very vivid in my mind. I hope it didn't disturb you. Could I ask you one more question, if you don't mind? Please do. Well, her lover, the, the man who followed her to the edge of the cliff, who was he? Well, to my knowledge, very few, if anyone, knew who he was. I doubt if it was ever recorded. Would be interesting to know that. Yes, very interesting. Gossipy, but interesting. <laughs> well, good evening, ladies. Good night, all. Good night, thank you. Willie, that was a very pleasant visit. They're very charming young ladies. Yeah. You always get upset whenever anyone talks to me, don't you? Can't help it. You'll learn. You'll learn. And now you will complete the arrangements for our dinner guests. I didn't want you to go down there, particularly with that Willie Loomis around. He's not all that bad. Well, he'll do till somebody worse comes along. Mother, you should see the wonderful things that have been done to that house. Well, I have seen some of it. But you haven't seen the room upstairs. It's been restored exactly the way it was when the house was built. Right down to the last detail, and you'll never guess whose room it was. Josette Collins. Really? Well, that's interesting. <laughs> David's going to be awfully happy to hear that her portrait is hanging there. I can't for the life of me think why he'd want to restore Josette's room. Ah, Josette, my darling. Welcome.
Well, any news? Oh, they're not doing as much as they could. Well, she should be easy enough to find. Sam, they put out a three-state alarm. They've combed every beach between here and Bangor and all the highways. What more do you want them to do? I don't know. Maybe nothing. At least we know she's still alive. Well, she was. Ah, uh, don't let your imagination run away with you. We'll find her. How could she have walked out of that hospital in the condition that she was in? And where should she want to go? I, I just don't understand. Where? light the candles. Miss Josette is ready to die. Barnabas? What is it? Why do you call her by that name? Because that is her name now. But Barnabas, you know it isn't. You know her name is Maggie Ellie. Really, that's enough. This is Josette Collins. It is her, po her portrait that is hanging upstairs. From now on, you must call her Miss Josette, and Miss Josette only. Do you understand that? Yes. Then don't ask me any more of your weary questions. Miss Josette is waiting to be served. Yes. Are you comfortable, my dear? You look very lovely by candlelight, Josette. But of course you always did. I... What are you trying to say? Candlelight. We always dined by candlelight in front of a fire. The candlesticks are lovely, aren't they? They were part of your dowry. You brought them with you from France. You had a silversmith fashion them from your own design. You always had impeccable taste. You have your music box with you. You're very fond of it, aren't you? You know why? Because I gave it to you. It was the only present you ever accepted from me. You had to keep it hidden because there were those who were against our love. But no one will be against us now. We have each other and soon very soon, you will be my bride. Bride? Yes. Play the music box for me. That was your favorite tune. Hearing it brought you back to me after you had gone. I felt indescribable anguish at the memory of it. But now you are with me. And you will stay with me forever. Excuse me, miss. Tell him your name, my dear. Josette. To you, my darling. Forever. drunk enough booze to float a small island and I still get get drunk. I'd really tie one on if 
wouldn't do any good, but it wouldn't. Sitting around here is driving me up the wall. Why don't you uh, phone the sheriff's office? Sam, I just talked to him ten minutes ago. He said he'd let us know if there was any news. Oh, so, just sit around here and wait. Maggie may be dead or dying or... Take it easy now, sir. Yeah, sure, sure. Maybe you can take it easy, but I can't. You think I'm not as scared and worried as you are? Oh, I know. I know you are. But you should try to think about something else for your own sake. How can I do that? Oh, I know it's tough on you, but you should try to concentrate on something else. Go back to your painting. I can't paint. I'm in no condition to paint. Uh, maybe not. Every time I look at a brush, all I do is think of Maggie. What about that portrait of Barnabas Collins? What did you decide to do about that? Tell him I can't go through with it. No, not at least until I find something out about Maggie. As a matter of fact, I was thinking of going up and telling him tonight. Well, listen, I got my car outside. You want me to drive you up there? Why not? Anything's better than sitting around here. Maybe we can search the roads for on the way up. You've gone over that territory a hundred times, and so is the highway patrol. I know, I know. It would take a miracle to find her. That's what I'm praying for. A miracle. Josette, look at me, my dear. Look at me. Look into my eyes. All I want is to make you happy. You know that, don't you? Yes. And you must never be frightened of me, ever. Frightened? You were frightened of me once. So frightened that you ended your life on Widow's Hill. Widow's Hill? You didn't understand. I didn't want to harm you. Do you understand that now? Tell me. Tell me you understand. I've been waiting to hear you say that for so long. I understand. Tell me that you know that we're going to be happy together. Tell me you know that how happy we're going to be. Yes. You don't happy. know what that means to me to hear you say those words. You can't know. Oh, don't withdraw from me. You said you aren't frightened of me. You aren't, are you? No. You want to be my bride. You want it as much as I do. Yes. I remember the first time I saw you. You couldn't speak a word of English. A beautiful, dark girl of 18. My job was to teach you English. Those hours we spent together were the happiest of my life. And we will relive them again and again as time goes by. Time will mean nothing. Nothing. <laughs> <laughs>